It's Thursday, September 29th, and this just isn't Samsung's month. Just as the electronics maker begins to replace potentially explosive Galaxy Note 7 handsets, comes news that some Samsung washing machines are now going ballistic. ABC News reports that 21 people so far have reported to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission that their Samsung top-loading washing machines have blown apart or exploded entirely. Apparently, the problem is limited to some recently made Samsung top-loading washers and specifically relates to a support rod which isn't sufficient for keeping the wash tub in place when it goes under extreme stress. One victim of the failure said the force of the explosion was enough to send their washer through the garage wall. Others have reported bolts and other shrapnel thrown from the washer at high velocity. The CPSC has issued a warning and for now Samsung is advising people use the delicate cycle when washing really, really heavy loads of blankets, towels and such. It doesn't look good for Samsung, but then again, you have to ask, would there be quite so big a microscope on this issue if the phone thing hadn't just happened? Given the upset generated by Apple's ditching of the headphone jack on the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, it was only a matter of time until someone built a case with a headphone jack in it. But already? You betcha! Fuse's cases appear to be the first on the block, and we know we'll see more, which may or may not feature a supplemental battery pack along with a built-in headphone jack. Now, to be clear, this case is only an Indiegogo campaign right now, so back at your own risk, but Fuse has a pretty good idea going here, one which provides both the lightning port and a headphone jack, so you can use the lightning cable that came with the phone to charge the case and the phone while having access to a headphone jack. Basically, a case that says, see Apple, I care more about convenience than form factor. The campaign just got going, and it's at about $19,000 on the way to a $60,000 goal. One pledge of $49 bucks gets you in line to receive a Fuse case, but it might be worth waiting around to see what the folks at Mophie and other popular case makers come up with. Oh, and if you want a good laugh with a heavy dose of cringe, check out Fuse's pitch video on Indiegogo. It is so incredibly over the top, and you're welcome. Finally, if you're chomping at the bit to get hold of a PlayStation VR, you might want to plan a little camp out at a Best Buy near you. On October 13th, 350 Best Buy locations will open at midnight on the East Coast, but dig this. That means that if you live in the Central Time Zone, you can snag one on the evening of the 12th at 11 o'clock, Mountain Time at 10 o'clock, and West Coasters can score one at 9 o'clock p.m. We've got a link below to all of the locations participating in the promotion. And as a reminder, the PlayStation VR is designed to work with the PlayStation 4 exclusively. It's going to cost 400 bucks and comes with a disc containing demo snippets from eight different PlayStation games optimized for VR. If you decide to go for it, good luck. And that's it for DT Daily today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.